Season 3, episode 95. I was having mic issues for some reason. Things are happening. Things are happening. It's not just posturing anymore. You heard kind of my like analysis in the last, the end of the last episode. Oh, and Merry Christmas. Now that's what I'm recording. That's Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> Oh, okay, I, I was concerned for a second. Oh, who's this? It would be pretty dire. Oh, okay, it's a Namek hand. You know who that is. Goku! Go! Oh, he's got Goku too. <laughs> the boys are a little. <laughs> Reunion! <laughs> he looks a little haggard. <laughs> It was incredible. It was super awesome. What's that? <laughs> yeah, quality guy. Family first. Okay, back to this superfluous fight, but... <laughs> Alright, it's fun to see, fun to see. <laughs> this Sonic. Oh, good job, Try I. Oh, that's the place. This the, the 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 heaven and hell guys, right? All right, you got Jason Gordo, right? How do I know their name? Nope, not even those two. <laughs> right, so that's Raccoon. Ah, thank you. Reminder. I'm Team Purr over that guy. I can't remember his name, but I'm Team Purr. That was one of his better little dance things. Oh, it's for training. His voice is much more tolerable in the sub. What? What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's just Bulma. <laughs> so the ship, and then... What's this? No, I'm seriously... <sighs> Oh, damn. Yeah, I mean, like structurally, it just made sense that this was going to happen, honestly, but still. They're all weak as hell, too. Oh, my. Piccolo down again. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ, you're not in the Secret Service. Oh my god, just get out of there. He's pissed. Yes, run. I mean, sure, just get out. No, no! What's he- he's just like force grabbing him? What is he doing? Don't just stand there! What are you doing? Is it a force crush? No!
What was that? Okay, his hair is turning. Oh my god. ちょっと、でも残ってるうちに、とっとと帰るんだ。Oh <laughs> Season 3, episode 96. Just want to see him dead. Just want to see him dead. Get out of there, Go. What are you doing? What are you thinking him for? He... You were too weak. That was the whole... Rip him apart. His tail, his, his tail was cut off. Because about Capsule Corp. Just murder him. I don't even want drama, just murder him. There's a point in a, a counterpoint. That's How dare you even broach the topic of forgiveness, are you crazy? Alright, so there are some interesting storytelling things that are happening. Because the whole thing is framed thematically based on 
Goku's origins. The whole DBZ saga started with that question, with, you know, uh, answers kind of trickled in over the course of, of the episodes, we're almost at 100 now, and the movie that we watched, and I know there's another movie coming up, but this whole thing has been framed by that idea, what's the through line thematically, about Goku's origins, his history, everything related to the Saiyans, having a foot in each of those worlds, you know, uh, just early on, one of the major things with just the original Dragon Ball was that he didn't really understand himself, he didn't know where he came from, and so when he would turn into the giant ape monster <laughs> and had no idea that he was doing it, it was representative of that idea, that him not knowing what his his origins are and who he really was. So as he finds this out and then he gets Vegeta and, the, you know, obviously the whole fight with Vegeta was awesome, but it just underlines and underscores the whole idea of the, the complexity of his history and his background and who he really is and what he needs to be fighting for and how big that question is and how large the stakes are. I mean, they really rebuilt the stakes of this battle as you went through it. Whereas, you know, it was more clear historically when they got in different conflicts or whatever. But in this one, it built up over time that you had these stakes. And to have it just crest over the hill and his recognition and acceptance of, you know, him being a Super Saiyan and all that, it just, it ties to all the other things that have been happening, you know, so far for so long in DBZ and even all the way back to original Dragon Ball. So it's a good, it's a good character piece, it's a good way to reach the end of that arc, and it just satisfies all the questions that have been raised, and, uh, you know, I just, I love that there's that balance with Vegeta, and the history, and Goku working so hard for so long, and not knowing who he was, but now finally reaching this moment where you have this inflection point that this is who I am, this is my history, and that's where he reaches his, you know, peak power for our purposes anyway. So you know what? I need to just get to the end of this saga. <laughs> Since there's a, a clean round number at 100, I'm guessing that I might have to get all the way there to get a resolution for this part of the saga. But I just need to do it. Just need to do it. So, because I need to see what happens. Uh, I want him dead. I want his house burned to the ground. I want to go there in the middle of the night and piss on his ashes. So we're going to keep going.